it's Ross, and I want to talk to you guys about today propagating some figs. And uh, this is what my old Italian grandfather would do. So the old Italian men, as crazy as they are, they would take a long branch off of their fig trees, and they would take that branch, and the first thing in the spring, they'd they'd bury it, they'd plant that thing in the ground or that that sucker in the ground, and they would uh. It would grow. It would form a new tree, and then that's their form of propagation. They didn't get really fancy with it. You know, there's all kinds of videos and methods of propagation out there of propagating fig trees. But how does the old way of doing it fare? So here down, this is um, exactly what I did. I took a long branch off of my fig tree. This one's called LSU Tiger. And what we did was we planted about a foot, a foot of it under the ground. And before we planted it, we had scored the bark. So I took off a pretty good fair amount of section of the bark here, exposing the cambium, uh, exposing the hardwood, which is going to callus over and it's going to produce roots more quickly as if I had just not scored this and left the bark alone. So we did that in early May, and now it's uh, the end of June, mid-June, and the tree in this cutting here is coming to life. You can see that all along the stem here is new leaves that are forming, and I'm sure if I had, if I dig down deep in here and see if there's roots, I'm sure there's plenty of roots now, and this tree is coming to life, and by the end of the year, I'll have myself a new LSU tiger fig tree. Now, I did this as well to another variety right next to it. And this one is a lot more vigorous. You can see this one has a lot more growth on it. I mean, it's got four new stems. This one's quite thick. This is a lot of growth. The leaves are getting quite large. If I pinch this right now, I would actually get fruit. It wouldn't ripen in time, but I would form fruit on these branches. And this is the same the same method down here, guys. Let me brighten that up for you. And you can see this is the cutting that I had planted. I took off my tree. This one was uh, two feet tall. We buried most of it under the ground. And unlike the other tree that we just saw, this one has a lot of growth above the ground. But the more nodes we can bury under the ground, I think the more roots we can get. I mean, that's a definite, you know, at every single node on this tree, roots will form. So I think by burying it deeper, uh, in two months, we have quite a bit of difference in growth. So I just wanted to show you guys this little quick method of propagation and show you guys some things that I've learned uh, again, it's just a very simple method of doing it and the way the old Italian guys would. So if you know someone like that, uh, you have a grandfather who's Italian, who grew figs in his, at some point in his life, ask him how to propagate figs. And I bet you he'll tell you exactly what I just said. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this one, and I will talk to you all later. Take care.